Hey everybody, it's Under My Cap and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be teaching you all about maps. So I'm going to teach you how to craft maps, how to use cartography table, how to use a whole bunch of features in the cartography table, which includes expanding maps, duplicating maps, locking maps, uh, the list just goes on, using banners, villages, everything. Now before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. And you also get to see a whole bunch more command content from my channel, which is really super cool. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first of all, if you don't know how to craft a map, this is the recipe for a map. So basically you need eight pieces of paper and a compass. And a compass is basically made with one piece of redstone for iron. And basically once you do this, you get a map. So you can see if I put a compass in the middle, wrap it around with paper, like wrapping up a Christmas present, I get a map. Now to use a map, all you have to do is right click on it with your mouse and you get a map like this, which is super duper cool. And one thing I didn't actually know about this is each pixel represents one block. So it's a one to one ratio. And that is why people can do a whole bunch of pixel art with this, which is, I find it really cool. Now a really cool thing, which is kind of straightforward is you can actually name a map. So if I went, hi, I'm a map. That's pretty creative. I've named it and now it's a unique map. I just realized that's basically naming random things. Anyway, moving on. Now that you know how to get a basic map like this, let's move on to the cartography table, which unlocks a whole bunch of possibilities with this map. So a cartography table is made with two pieces of paper and four pieces of wood. And basically what it does is it allows you to have a whole bunch of control over your maps. You can copy and duplicate them. You can expand, zoom them out, and you can also lock maps. So if you want to, you know, preserve a map, make sure you don't accidentally override it when you open it. Uh, this will allow you to kind of preserve like history in your world, I guess. Uh, but let's start off with the first one. So if you have a map and you want to copy and duplicate it to give it to another player in your world, this is really simple. All you have to do is get another empty map. So as you know, crafting a map with this, and all you have to do is place the empty map in the bottom square here and place your map, hi I'm a map, right above it. So you can see we get two hi I'm a maps. There, we duplicated it. You can give your friend one of these. Uh, I don't think they stack. Oh, they do stack. Okay. So that is really cool. Now, what if you actually wanted, you know, just expand your map, make it a lot larger? Well, you can actually do it with the cartography table. All you have to do is simply get a piece of paper. So you can see I have paper here and place paper underneath the plus and place the map you want to expand. So you can see it has this really cool like visualized uh, experience where it shows you that the map will get smaller. When you actually expand a map, it will increase it by power of two. So basically the ratio will now be each pixel represents two blocks. Um, and that's how you get like color blending on a map, which is, you know, pretty cool. Now locking maps. Locking maps is very useful as well. So if let's say you wanted to preserve history in a world without actually, you know, damaging anything on the map, you can lock a map with a glass pane. So if we pull out this map here, right, you can see that it pops up all nice. Um, if I fly around, where am I? You can see this map is all really nice. If I place a whole bunch of orange sand here, you'll notice that on the map, I will get some orange spots. So you can see orange spots appeared. Now, if I lock a map, so let's go back to this chest. If I lock a map, which involves a glass pane, if I put this here and then put the map here, You'll notice a lock pops up and that means that this map will now permanently be locked like this. So if I go back here and I go, actually, I don't want all of this orange sand here. Let's get rid of all of this orange sand. Now the orange sand stays. So this map is officially locked. Now those are the three main functions of the cartography table. And I have to say super useful. Like I wish I knew this in my world. I would have so locked a map like this. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. So. Now, another thing you probably didn't know is that you can actually place maps like this. And obviously if you get like a perfect chunk thing, you can put them all together. I don't know if this would make it look like an island like that. Oh, it does. Yeah, you can put your maps together like this and you can make like a really cool uh, map like that, but you can place them, rotate them, etc. And you notice the name we actually gave the map actually shows up, which is super cool. Now, the next feature is actually being able to mark on the map. Now, marking on the map is super simple. All you have to do is use a banner. So if I get my map and click on this little part of the banner, this little like block thing, you can see a banner pops up on the map and it stays there permanently so I can see where I am at all times on the map. And to demonstrate this, you can see I've got a little beacon over here showing me where my uh, other banner is. But if I click on this banner here, you will also see that the banner pops up as white and you can see that I've got a blue banner over here. And it's pretty simple as well. I can remove it by just clicking on it again. And banners also show up on map. So if I click this, um, 
I don't know if that will do anything, but you'll notice that the uh, banner actually stays on the map. Uh, there, you can see the banner's there. Now the last part of the tutorial is actually about the villager called the cartographer uh, villager. And they are super cool. So when you level them up, you actually gain access to certain maps, which give you a whole bunch of treasure. So ocean explorer maps. I think you can get treasure maps as well in woodland uh, explorer maps. Okay, so let's say I have a whole bunch of compasses and emeralds. I can actually trade these uh, for these maps, which is super cool. And they show up. I've actually personally never seen a map like this before. I think I've only seen a treasure map. That looks so cool. Now the very last part and this, this is only unique to these two maps here, is that you can actually duplicate these maps. Now a really cool thing is that you can actually uh, duplicate these maps. So you can see if I have the Woodland Mansion map, I can actually get another Woodland Mansion Explorer map. They're both the same, they're just duplicated. So if you have a friend that wants one, you can duplicate that and it is super cool. Now that's about it for the tutorial. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Hopefully I helped you out a bit. Um, I've seen a few people a bit unsure about all of this, so hopefully this has helped uh, you out. Now, if you did enjoy this video, I have a whole bunch of other videos, including this choose your own adventure video, which I have to the left of me, which is super cool. I think there's 27 videos, 10 endings. It's so cool. Or if you want to see one of my best videos, uh, I think it's the debug stick video. You can check out the one to the right of me, which is super cool. And you can tap on my face right now to subscribe to me. So thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See ya.